Do you play Pokemon Go and you live in something like this? This is a residential area. The only thing in the game is from parks or churches. I happen to be sitting at a church. Well, this video is going to show you how to find out what else you can nominate so you can improve your playing area. Now, Deontic wants you to know they want you to find great places to exercise, great places to be social, and great places to explore. If it doesn't fit one of these three categories, please do not waste your time or others. Also, Neantic wants you to know they don't want anything at K through 12 schools. That includes preschools. So K means kindergarten, if you didn't know. Also, don't block emergency services, which includes access to the emergency room, fire stations, and fire hydrants. Neantic has clarified now, even if the fire hydrant is artistic, they don't want it in the game. Also, they've said no adult businesses, but I do have to say I've seen murals at adult-oriented businesses get through. Just don't say the name of the business and you have a better chance. Also, nothing at a single family home. And also, it must have safe pedestrian access. That means sidewalk, no roundabouts, no center of the median. If you're new to this channel, you may have missed my S14 and S17 cell video. This is what I use. It's pogomap.info. It's a website. You can open it on your phone. The grid is a little bit skewed from what Niantic uses, so keep that in mind, but it is free. This is an S14 cell, this aqua here. That determines gym placement in Pokemon Go, and those little cells are S17 cells. They determine Pokestop placement. You can only have one Pokestop per S17 cell, so keep that in mind when you're nominating things. That's why I like to bring up this map. All right, so that neighborhood that I was just showing you, here it is. There is nothing, nothing there, but there is. It just hasn't been nominated yet. The single family development has a green area in the middle. Within that green area, they have tennis courts and a ramada. I nominated the ramada. I'm leaving the tennis courts for somebody else. But then I went north of this community to another community very close by. It had two tennis courts, also single family development. So these are community tennis courts. I nominated both of them but I took care to nominate them in different S17 cells so that it would create two Pokestops. If there's nothing in that S14 cell already and both of them get approved, that means one of them would be a Pokestop and one of them would be a gym. Also, if you live in a residential area, you may have little pockets of apartment complexes. I saw this one on the map. It had a tennis court and a ramada. I nominated both based on those S17 cells. So I actually nominated the tennis courts down towards the bottom because that was a different S17 cell than the Ramada. Here are some things I've gotten through in residential areas. This is a bus stop piece of artwork was there. It was really cool. This was a employee rest area right in front of single family homes. This is another bus stop with art. It was in Las Vegas. This is a metal sign that's in a historical neighborhood. It was like on the sidewalk by the street. And this is a mural along a walking path, but on the other side of the mural is a house. So potential nomination in residential areas can be churches, sports fields, community boards, ramadas, gazebos, art at bus stops, murals on major streets, public fitness stations, trail signs or markers, parks, decorative fountains, and public playgrounds. Things that could get through but may get denied based on the reviewers you have are roll signs at parks that are basically just grassy areas and there's nothing else there. Community center, community pools, artistic utility boxes, depends where the utility box is. Free little library, the same thing. You're probably gonna get them denied if they're in front of a single family home. Distinct entry monuments, murals on the side wall of a property, not near the driveway, and houses turned business. For example, a restaurant in a former house. Thank you for watching.